The Prohibition Era in the USA, when a straight-laced legislation brought the citizenry back along the paths of virtue. The one-armed bandits from dance halls and nightclubs felt for the first time the full weight of the law. Poker machines, stripped from the city's lowest establishments, headed for just one more dive. But unlike old soldiers, they didn't simply fade away. A generation later, the tumblers are tumbling again, as New South Wales club members still chase that elusive jackpot. Behind the unflagging industry of the players lies a fast-growing industry in itself. Poker machines manufactured here are in demand in all parts of the world, from the United Kingdom and Scandinavia to the Far East in Macau, Singapore and even Vietnam. The machines are precision made and in spite of repeated claims to the contrary, cannot be influenced by the playing technique of the hopeful gambler. The only thing that can be varied is the percentage of the payout, and that from the player's point of view is never enough anyway. New South Wales, with more than 600 registered clubs, provides a hungry market for the machines. Even so, of the 4,000 units made each year by this factory alone, up to 45% of them are destined for overseas. To the tune of tinkling coins, another Australian industry finds it has a jackpot on its hands. <laughs> 